Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I want to talk about some of the most important Galaxy AI features that are missing on Galaxy Tab S10 FE. And that is why it is very important that you should watch this video before you decide to get this tablet for Galaxy AI. And so let's get started with all the missing Galaxy AI features. The first one that I want to talk about is the writing assist. Yes. Galaxy Tab S10 FE does not have writing assist Galaxy AI features at all. So if I go in any writing app or notes app and pull up the Samsung keyboard, you will see that there are no Galaxy AI features here. There is, you know, the Galaxy AI button doesn't even exist here. You can go in settings, you can go through this. The Galaxy AI is not supported in the Samsung keyboard on this tablet, which was really disappointing for me because I was looking forward to it. So here, if I can show you on my Galaxy S24 Ultra with One UI 7, if I pull up the Samsung keyboard, you can see that we have this Galaxy AI button and you can use this to do the spell check, grammar check, change the writing style and even go in the composer. And here you can give it a prompt and it will bring up the text for you you can change the style from standard email social media comment and also change the tone this feature is missing from galaxy tab s10 fe moving on next galaxy ai feature that is missing on this tablet which was again very disappointing for me is the availability of galaxy ai features in samsung notes so if you go in samsung notes you will see that there is no galaxy ai option here you cannot use galaxy ai to summarize your notes or change their uh, text or you know change their formatting or even um, translate them so if i go in samsung notes on my phone you will see that we have this galaxy AI button here and if i tap on it i can auto format my notes summarize my notes do the spell and grammar check and also translate them something that is once again missing on tab s10 fe really disappointing moving on if i go in the samsung recorder app the recording ai feature is also missing now you can use the basic transcribe into text feature in the recording app but the galaxy ai feature that allows you to summarize the text or translate the text is missing now if i go into the recorder app on my phone i can go in any video and a transcribe button appears here so if I go in this video here, this transcribe button appears. This is the Galaxy AI transcribe button. It's not like the basic transcribe to text button that I showed you here. This one here, this is the Galaxy AI feature. So once it's transcribed, I can see the whole uh, transcript here. I can also generate a summary. Once that summary is generated, it shows up like this. It gives you the keywords and what you've talked about. Everything comes up here, really cool. You can tap on this button here. You can uh, show as timeline and select group by subject as well. Then if you go back to transcript, tap on this button here, you can transcribe again, edit transcript text, remove transcript and also show speaker labels. If you're in a meeting and there are multiple speakers, they will show up here as well, which is great. And then finally, you have this translate button as well from where you can uh, translate your English or whatever text to another language which is really cool and very important feature to have on your tablet, which is sadly missing on Tab S10 FE. Another major disappointment came in the form of missing Galaxy Eye features in Samsung internet, which I really enjoy using on my phone because if I open up an article on my phone, I can quickly tap on Galaxy Eye button and summarize it. And I don't have to read the whole thing this AI feature very quickly generates the summary and I can go through it and I'm done with it. And that is something missing on the Samsung internet on Tab S10 FE. Now you do get this Galaxy AI button in the Samsung internet on Tab S10 FE, but don't be fooled by it because once you tap it, the only feature it supports is read aloud feature, which isn't also the same as the read aloud feature that you get on the Samsung internet on your phone. So if you tap here, you can tap on read highlights aloud and it, it will uh, summarize it. it and then it will read through the whole thing. You can also translate into different language and it will then read it out aloud in that language. So it's very elaborate and gives you a lot more control. This one is just, it will just start reading Microsoft it out one. and that's it. There is no ability to translate it into another language and nothing like that. It will just read aloud the whole thing. It doesn't even summarize the web page that you wanted to read aloud. 
So that is uh, again very disappointing because you know web browsing is one of the main things that you do on a tablet and this feature sadly is missing. Perhaps Samsung wants you to upgrade to their flagship tablets to be able to access these features. And now finally the last major Galaxy Air feature missing on Galaxy Tab S10 FE is the drawing assist. So it doesn't exist from the get-go. There is no drawing assist. It's, it usually exists in the uh, edge panel. All we get is AI select and I've made a video uh, on AI select and how it works on this tablet but there is no drawing assist feature that you get on your Galaxy phones uh, the flagship ones more specifically. So this um, drawing assist feature that you get on your phone is missing on Galaxy Tab S10 FE so you cannot have fun doing AI drawings, generating AI images and all that stuff. Now there are a lot more Galaxy AI features missing here and there but these are some of the major ones that I wanted to talk about and let you guys know before you go ahead and purchase this tablet. So be very careful but you can see the whole list of what exists on this tablet by going in settings and then go in advanced features and here go in intelligent features and now you see you can see the whole list of what is available on this tablet and what isn't so we have the object eraser best face edit suggestions custom filters auto trim ai select and read aloud that i have already shown you i'll put the link of that video where i talk about all of these features in the description below so you can watch that video as well but now if i go through the list of galaxy ai features on my phone you can see side by side what all is missing on this tablet when it comes uh, to galaxy ai so yes that's very important to know before you go ahead and purchase this tablet do not buy it if you're buying it for galaxy ai is all missing on this tablet if this is what you want go ahead uh, buy this tablet don't buy it for galaxy ai so that's about it from this video guys i hope this was useful i'll see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye